I'm Tim and I'm the medical uh, coordinator of the youth department at the RSA on the Lecht Youth Academy. I am uh, Jerome, I am the physical coach U18 of uh, RSA on the Lecht. Okay, so we've got uh, Tim and Jerome here. Uh, Tim works in the physio department, Jerome's a performance uh, department and uh, Tim's very kindly agreed to translate some for us. So, so ask Jerome first about the performance. Tell us a little bit about the movement programme, what goes on with the younger players and the older players, that sort of thing? Uh, we already talked about it, so uh, I, uh, I did a translation then. Um, with uh, the younger age groups, we started the multi-skills yeah. um, program. Uh, so they developed the, the movement skills in combination with the football skills. So the 1v1 one, one one, uh, ball mastery, but also body mastery. Yeah. Uh, it's the 5v5, five, five five. then they go uh, to the 8v8. Uh, we developed some more uh, of the body mastery skills um, and then at the later stages, the 11 v 11, uh, we have two groups, uh, the peak height velocity group or the pre-hike velocity group and then the older age groups, they work with uh, Jerome. Uh, we, we work some more on uh, yeah, course ability, uh, strength, uh, mobility, uh, some pre-activation. So it's a curriculum, they uh, okay. follow up. Uh, and so how long, for example, the 5x5 five five group, the, uh, the 8s and 9s, 8s and 9s, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. how, how, how long will they do the multi-move, body movement stuff? Every, is it every session? or uh, They don't do it every session. They do it uh, one or two times a week right. in combination with the uh, uh, football uh, training. But it, uh, it happens, uh, so, uh, it's one time a week that they do uh, only the multi-skills uh, right. without the ball and, and how long, body muscle. How long is that? It's a what, complete session minutes. of one hour or uh, oh, right, so the whole, 90 the minutes. Whole yeah, yeah, okay, so one yeah, session a week is multi gym, skills, gym. multi moves. Yep. And so then they move up into the 8v8. How, yep. how, how often do they do this, the movement, body mechanics? Uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not very uh, specific in, in one, one training. It will be more introduced in uh, uh, more trainings then. Um, and they do it uh, before the training. So it's uh, more integrated in, uh, in, in the team training. Uh, and will they do that, every, right? will yeah. that every session? Will it be part of every session? Or it, it's a part like a general warm-up, uh, they do right. it every session. Yeah, okay. it's a part yeah. of the deal. And what would that look like? Is that What sort of things are they doing in that? Are they you know, doing tag games or is it more lines or ladders or what sort of stuff yeah, are they doing? Yeah, it can be more isolated. It right. will be uh, on, on the field also, uh, but uh, it's also in the gym where they do some uh, general uh, mobility or course ability work. It, uh, it uh, depends also uh, on the micro cycle they are having in the week. So it, if it's match day minus four or uh, match day minus five, they do some more collective uh, warming up and, and uh, injury prevention. Right. Uh, again, Ash, uh, core stability, uh, yeah. mobility. And then uh, at the end of the week, it will be more speed and agility, uh, both in the gym and uh, on the field. And we're talking to Kevin, he was talking about, you know, the recruitment, mm -hmm. looking for those good athletes at a young age, speed mm -hmm. and agility, those sorts of qualities. What happens mm -hmm. when a boy gets to 13, 14, he has a big growth spurt, maybe he struggles mm -hmm. with his movement. What sort of things do you have interventions to support a player like that? If, uh, if, they, uh, if they have uh, problems during their growth spurt in the heels or the knees, uh, we do a growth spurt per periodization. So uh, we manage their training load and we work, work with, uh, more with the physios in the gym uh, than... But I mean, uh, say, you know, some players, they grow, they get a bit slower mm -hmm. because maybe their coordination's out and stuff like that. Is there, yeah. Do you have things in place that can help a player like that or is it more just giving time to grow? Or? Yeah, we give them time uh, to grow. Uh, so we do a monthly, uh, uh, we do the uh, weight, uh, we do weight and uh, length measurements right. and uh, we follow them up. Uh, so it's... Uh, but uh, if they are in, in pain or in trouble, uh, we, uh, we work individually and uh, we decrease the training load. So right. it's more uh, training load monitoring, if I'm not mistaken. C'est juste. Oui, C'est juste. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey guys. Merci beaucoup. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Lovely.